So the first thing we're gonna do is tackle the plumbing in the boat. We're doing that first because there's still a lot of space in the boat and that stuff usually does take a lot of space. And you gotta lay that stuff out first as well because that kind of sets the guidelines of where your pumps are gonna be and whatnot. So the first thing we're doing is we're measuring where we're gonna put the high speed pickup in the boat for the live well. You wanna make sure that you have a flat surface to mount it. You have the room for the pump, the valve and everything else. Uh, you don't want to mount it in front of the motor. You'll mess up the flow of the water to the outboard. You also want to make sure that you're not drilling down into a bunk or a strake. Um, so what you want to do is you want to do your measurements, drill with an eighth inch pilot hole just to be safe. Make sure where it comes down is good to go. I noticed I had to move a trailer bunk to the side, so I loosened it up, moved it to the side so I could put the, the high-speed pickup in there. So once we knew all the obstructions were out of the way and we were ready to go, uh, we found we wanted to make sure that we had the right size hole saw because you don't want to over drill and have too big of a hole in there. You want it to be a nice snug fit. So the best way to find the right hole saw for what you're looking to do is either A, read the instructions. Hopefully they have that in there. If they don't, Usually what you can do is, on something like this, like a through hole, you take the nut and you can just go through your, uh, your assorted hole saws and find the one that just is bigger than the threads. The snugger the fit, the better, as long as it goes through. So now that we've found the right size hole saw, it's time to drill the hole. Pretty straightforward. You wanna make sure you just drill a straight hole. Um, you don't want it to be off center. When the, when the bit comes down, you want it to bite perfectly all the way around. So once the hole is cut, we want to do a dry fit. Give it a quick measurement, make sure everything's right, and that's pretty much all a dry fit is. It takes two seconds and it's worth doing. There's also four mounting holes on the bottom, and once we've got it straight, we can use that time to mark those holes so that I can drill those holes later once I pull the fitting back off and I'll know that when I go to mount it the next time that it's perfectly straight. So once all the holes are drilled, you wanna clean up the mess real quick. And what you really wanna do is you wanna wipe everything down with acetone real well, the surface that you're bonding to, the pickup itself, because the, the bond is only as good as the surfaces are clean. So you want a really clean surface for your bond. So the next thing is you wanna pick uh, whatever kind of sealer you're gonna use. So in a through hole, high speed pickup, anything you got below the water line, you wanna make sure it's rated for below the water line use. So when you're putting your sealer on, uh, don't be afraid to put it on heavy. You want a good squeeze out when you mount the through hole up there. Yes, it's gonna make a mess. Oh well, it's sealed. You're not gonna have to worry about a bunch of leaks later on. So on this fitting, there's four holes. Um, you could use screws. I chose to use four through bolts instead. Uh, just for extra added security. If you can, uh, I highly suggest it. So once you've got the through hole mounted up there, you're gonna have sealer gooping out of every hole. That's what you want. Everyone has their different way of doing it. I like to use a dry rag first, wipe around and get 9% of it off with the dry rag. I feel like the dry rag holds it better. And then what I like to do is I like to come back with a, a rag soaked in acetone and do the final wipe around for a nice clean uh, finish around the fitting. 